Let's start at the beginning. This is the three of pentacles upside down. Now, upside down means the opposite. So this is kind of um, one of collecting information, collecting um, spiritual information. So this, since it is upside down, it looks like maybe, well, I know Geminis have more of a scientific mind. So it looks like you're collecting data, collecting information, collecting something more on a prove it level than on a faith level. Um, so, but it looks like that's coming into your awareness. That shift is coming into your awareness that you are turning down your analyzer a little bit more and having a little bit more faith. This is a new place for you, a new position for you. Gemini, you are the ultimate of thinkers. And so it looks like you're learning how to trust the universe and trust the journey a little bit more. Um, and it's very challenging for you to uh, trust what is not seen and what is not proven. So um, it is a new space for you. Um, allow yourself um, to just go with it a little bit more, to turn off that analyzer and see what spirit is telling you. So it's very, very challenging for you to do that. Uh, the Hierophant is what crosses you. This is also the challenge. Um, to be more of a spiritual being and less an analytical being. So it looks like you're learning how to incorporate mind, body, and spirit. It is a new space for you. Um, so it's like you're reigniting your faith, your faith in mankind, your faith in yourself, your faith in um, spirit or God. For many of you, we look at spirit as God. Um and just kind of revisiting some concepts that looks like that you were taught as a child. You know, take what you need and leave the rest. But it looks like you're really, your faith has been challenged um, for quite a while. So you're learning how to relinquish a little bit of that control and turn up the faith a little bit. Turn up the faith. You know, I am a big cheerleader for God. So um, any way to get to that journey to get to the place of unconditional love of yourself and trust and faith. Um, however that happens for you, Gemini, I'm all for it. So it looks like you're looking at how to incorporate that into your very analytical and very logical uh, mind because faith really isn't based on logic. It just is. So you're trying to incorporate that. What is above you is the two of cups now cups is emotions two is balance so it looks like you are trying to find more balance with it either within a relationship or within a relationship with yourself um it could even be children or parents but finding trying to find balance a little bit more in relationship and for those of you who have closed off your your heart to relationship because of the past it looks like you are considering if you haven't already reigniting your heart and opening it to passion and realizing that you um, are worthy. You are totally worthy of a reciprocal love. And for those of you have that have turned that down, you're, it's time to reopen that heart and to allow yourself uh, to give and receive love in an intimate relationship. And for those of you that are already in an intimate relationship, it looks like just taking a step up within that relationship opening the doors of communication and opening your heart a little bit further as well as your mind. So there is a transition in the love space for you Geminis. What is in the past is the King of Pentacles and the Pentacles are an earth sign. That's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Kings are a wisely person or can stand for wisdom. And it looks like, um, and what it's feeling like for me is that it's more of an attitude than it is a person. It's time to um, look at your morals, um, look at what is in line with you and what isn't. It looks like you have been kind of stingy with yourself, stingy with your heart, stingy with your needs, wants, desires. So now it's time to open up and give to yourself a little bit. I know that uh, you give to others a lot, Gemini. So now it's time to 
See if you're being stingy with yourself. Are you being kind to yourself? Have you been withholding love? Have you been withholding wants and desires? Um, saving for a rainy day that never comes type of thing. Now it's time to put you first and your happiness and your growth. You have kind of held yourself back from your own growth and your own wisdom to gift others. So now it's time to gift to yourself and give yourself as much um, love, integrity, and um, kindness as you do to others. So uh, it's time to be in line um, with kindness to yourself. This is the nine. This is in present time, and it's also cups. You've got a lot of cups here, so it looks like we well, have motion and, uh, and emotion. So it looks like you've been really visiting on how to emote, how to speak your truth, how to not wait till it builds up, till it's a frustration, so it explodes. Um, this is also has to do with abundance, opening up your heart, not being so stubborn um, for the right way of doing things. And you have kind of um, a mindset that is a little limiting for yourself and others, and it looks like that mindset is opening up it is becoming a little bit more forgiving for yourself and others, a little bit more pliable in your thoughts. It doesn't just have to be one way. And it looks like you've been really visiting on how you uh, contribute communication, how you hold back your emotions, and you're being a little freer with your emotions for yourself and others. And it's humanizing you in the eyes of, of those that um, you have been distant with for a while. So your humility is coming up. It also This also stands for abundance, so it looks like you're not being so hard on yourself. Um, not, you know, for every $2 you make, saving $1. It's okay to splurge a little bit. You're so responsible sometimes, Gemini, that you're not very kind with yourself and you withhold some things that some very small things that would bring you happiness. So if that's having, you know, pizza once a week instead of cooking all the time, please do that. Please enjoy your life a little bit more. Do not be so strict on yourself and open up those channels of abundance. They're there. They're waiting for you to incorporate um, that self-love and a little less stringent, strict behavior for yourself. Um, it will take you out of kind of that frustration and anger if you are able to feed some of your wishes and your dreams and your, your desires. But it looks like saving for that rainy day that you never allow to come is kind of hard on you. So it looks like you're changing uh, the way that you save money, the way you prioritize, and you're giving of yourself emotionally a little bit more to yourself and others. It's a wonderful place to be, Gemini. Uh, the Queen of Wands. Wands is fire. Uh, the Queens are a wise woman. It usually depicts someone 40 or over. It can be someone that is just very wise for their young years. I am feeling that this is a woman. This is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this is feeling like you have... Um, benefited from a relationship. This does not feel like a new relationship. This feels like either mother, daughter, um, sister, best friend, something like this of, of a very intimate nature of a family, a familiar nature. There has been um, some positive communication and some understanding. So it feels like all that work that you did back in October, November, the beginning of December to clear up some of those communications. Gemini has worked with this fire woman. Uh, it looks like there is a bit of peace and calm in your relationship where it was a little bit staticky before there. It feels like there has been an agreement. There has been a shift. There has been an understanding as your heart is softening and you're becoming less strict on yourself. You are more open to hearing others' processes and truly connecting with what they're saying instead of um, re-evaluating it in your mind. You're much more present and it feels like this relationship has benefited from you being present and you really truly listening to what they're saying and um, moving forward in a more positive and nurturing way with this fire woman. 
So if that hasn't already happened, it's moving towards happening. This is in the future position, but it looks like some um, very important communication has happened over the last couple of months with this fire woman. And things are on the path of, of understanding and um, unconditional love is what I'm feeling. So what is in the basis of all this? Is, it looks like you've been losing sleep, overthinking a little bit. This is a nine. So redoing all these processes have kind of brought you a little bit of strife. You don't really know how it's going to look in the in the long run. But, you know, baby steps, baby steps. Keep moving towards uh, change. And you have been. You truly have been. So I want to uh, commend you, Gemini, for making those changes. And even um, when you wanted to go back to the old habits, you didn't. You kept going forward. Um the magician is here, so really grabbing a hold of some of your own magic and realizing that the journey is is magical. Sometimes the destination isn't the isn't what we're learning. It's how to get to that destination. With the hierophant here and also the three, it really feels like a spiritual journey to um, your awareness and your awakening. Um, so there has been some kind of spiritual awakening and some alignment within you on a spiritual level. Um, I'm also feeling that on a physical level, you have been much more committed to better health, whatever that looks like for you. I know that's a common theme right now. Um, looking at January, we all look at our health and what we can do to change it. But it looks like you made this commitment to really be the healthiest you that you can possibly be about four to six months ago. And you're continuing with a real positive tra trajectory to diet and motion and really clearing your head of a lot of the unnecessary stresses in your life. So you're really getting in touch with your own magic, um, what that means to each individual. You know, that's an individual journey. For many, it's going back to church or meditation or just trusting in the magic that life brings um, or even just going out and hiking more often. Being in nature is as, as many people's churches, but it looks like you're really revisiting um, the spiritual aspect of your life because there are three cards here <laughs> that have to do with spiritual searching or spiritual journey in some way. The next card is the world and the world is a wonderful card. It is kind of like the end of the journey of Tarot. The zero or the fool is the beginning of the journey in the world or uh, 21 is the end of this journey. Um, so you're looking at completing some things in your cycles right now, um, whether it is new job, releasing a job, retirement, changing um, the way that you save for retirement, changing the way that you communicate with your children, changing. Um, so there's a lot of change that's happening. It, you're softening a bit. And the more energy you put into the positive, the world, um, it's kind of like whatever you put into it is what you get back tenfold and the world is above you. So it's, it's, it's right here. It's a brand new slate. You've made some changes that have freed you up for some other decisions that are really brand new ways of looking at life, um, and embracing those changes. Um, even though you do have fear about them, it looks like you're moving towards those changes anyway. So the world just opens it up. So whatever you put into it, what effort you put into it, you will get paid tenfold. So if you put that energy into negative things, you will get paid tenfold in negative. So the world will go in whatever direction that you focus that that energy in either positive or negative. It's kind of like the wheel of fortune, but it takes it to another dimension. It is much bigger than the wheel of fortune. It is kind of life changing commitment things. So um, I'm feeling retirement. I'm feeling either a change of jobs, a change of home. Um, but the process of how you live your life has completely shifted just over the last six months. So you're starting to reap the benefits of those changes. And the culmination card is the four of wands. That's one of, um, of celebration, of getting out in the world, reconnecting with those in our heart. Um, 
to really looking at the good things in life, not having such a negative aspect um, in our lives because we can um, kind of ignite that self-saboteur in ourselves if if we only focus on the negative, you know, if two things happen, one is positive, one is negative, which do you choose? And it is a choice to look at. Do you focus on the negative only or do you focus on the positive? You know, it is a choice. And finding your balance, um, choosing to be with positive people that enjoy life, that are like-minded, that... Um, are much more in the mindset of caretaking our planet instead of destroying it. So it looks like you are starting to come out of the cave, Gemini, start to communicate and to socialize a little bit, reconnecting with the people from our hearts, from our past that we've either let go because it wasn't convenient or whether it's geography, but you're going to be reconnecting with some of, those, some of those that bring you great joy and celebrate life a little bit more. It's not always the have tos, Gemini. You are starting to really celebrate the life that you have. Um, it's not all about work. Um, some of your fears are coming up. I call this the old broken alone. It is just a fear. Sometimes it seeps in when we make those changes and, you know, it's one step forward or two step forward, sorry, one step back. So with that back step, we get a little discouraged and that looks like a part of the negative programming that you're working on changing. No, you're not old. No, you're not broken. No, you're not alone. All of these things are temporary and can be changed in a moment's notice. So, and there's something here about money. Um, you have changed the way that money works for you or you've changed the way that you look at money. It is there so we can enjoy life. Um, so, and if you're giving up some joys um, because of the fear of being broke one day, well, that's not truly living. That's only half living. So I, I think that that has been one of your biggest shifts is that you've decided to enjoy life and enjoy the people around it. Um, this process has been a long one. This is the nine and it is almost done. Uh, this is the nine of wands. This is motion. So really, truly looking at your spiritual closet. What are the behaviors that you really do not want to maintain? What are the friendships you would like to reignite? Um, what are, if you're just really looking at all aspects of life and what needs to be changed and how to do that. And it's kind of like the final inventory. You have released a tremendous amount of energy, a tremendous amount of behaviors that have not served you. And you've opened the doors of communication, opened the doors of abundance a little bit. So it's like you're taking the last peek at, um, how that worked and how it didn't work before you release it. And you are right on the apex of really releasing those negative behaviors. And whether <clears throat> for many of you, whether it's an addiction um, or a toxic relationship, a job that hasn't been working, or if it's just time for you to retire, you're looking at, at all of the possibilities before you take that last leap of faith. And I encourage you to take that leap of faith soon. So one last look before you take that leap of faith. 